Hello and welcome to the Map Center 2.0 tutorial overview brought to you by Agra Images Technologies and powered by SatJot.com. In this video, I will cover each area of the program briefly to serve as a reference for the future tutorials. I also encourage you to contact us on our website with any questions or comments that you may have regarding the program, tutorials, or just general curiosity. Okay. To get started, I'd first like to take a moment to talk about browser selection. I am using Mozilla Firefox 4.0.1, which is the latest version as of the date of this tutorial. I am using this because it is a web compliant browser along with the latest version of Apple Safari, Google Chrome, Opera, or Internet Explorer 9.0. If you are using Internet Explorer 8.0 or before, uh, our program will not work because they are not web compliant browsers. If you have questions regarding that, please visit www.w3c.com for more information regarding uh, web compliancy. Um, but simply put, to avoid all that, just get the latest version of Mozilla Firefox, which I really like to use, uh, Apple Safari, which is the same browser that's used on the iPad, and then uh, Google Chrome is another excellent choice. Okay. Um, I'm going to run around the program now from starting from the left and work my way around uh, counterclockwise. So starting over here with these three buttons, we have the Farms, Fields, and Boundaries list. This shows you a list of all of the fields or boundaries that you have selected. And if there's any information attributed to them, you will see those here as well. The search window is broken down into three categories. The dealer, consultant, grower hierarchy. Uh, based on what you have signed up as, as far as a satjot.com user. The second is the county township section, PLS public land survey. Um, and then the third is the town selection. These last two search criteria are based on the state tab that you are uh, in as at the moment. Right now you can see that I'm in North Dakota. The third panel is the map layers. You can do two things here. You can toggle on and off the layers and you can also reorder them. So you can move them up and down to the top or to the bottom uh, for your viewing pleasure. Let's move down to the bottom here. We have four different panels. I will move to the center one here called Field Management. Um, this panel will serve as uh, your, uh, you want to create a new farm, uh, you want to add a new field, you want to rename it, you want to move that field to another farm, um, et cetera, et cetera. This is where all of this will take place. Uh, we'll move over to the left here. We'll move to the analysis options. Okay, And as you can see, we had a, uh, a piece over here selected. These are known as the active data sets. Everything that you create will be brought over here as far as the data sets are concerned, which are analyses, uh, soil maps, spread maps, uh, and then edited images. But how to create those is done here in this first tab called the analysis panel. Everything is done here. You extract, you analyze, you vectorize, it's done here. Then you want to continue to further edit your analyses, you move over to the precision egg, and then you can select one data set at a time, change colors, shift the zones around, dissolve some spaces in between, uh, and then you can also activate some painting tools, painting tool options to create polygons and pixels. And then finally, we have the exports and reports. Uh, kind of self-explanatory as far as we're moving it out of the program and into your hands or into your controller. So um, there's simple rasters, attributed rasters, vectors, and PDF reports. An example, the attributed rasters here is based on, again, the selection of the active data sets. And if you're confused, worry not. We're going to go over each panel uh, in its own tutorial. And the complicated panels we'll go over in a couple of tutorials. So, but let's move over to the hand, the map tools here. Um, we have the hand tool, allows you to move around the map. We have the arrow selection tool, which allows you to select those uh, boundaries and fields so that you can actually edit them and, and manipulate them as you will. Then we have the point radius search. Uh, I'll go over that in a, a later tutorial, but it's a, it's a kind of an advanced type of search. And then we have the zoom tool. So you can zoom in and out, and then you can also drag, like so. Click and drag, and it will actually zoom to that bounding box there. And while that's going, 
Let's move up to the top uh, window here, or the top uh, bar here. Uh, you'll see your name in place of mine. Uh, you'll see the logout. Then you'll have the scene selection. The whole point of this program is based on these, this little criteria right here. We have a couple of shortcuts for painting and drawing. And then over on the left we have our um, state tab list. You can load one or multiple state tabs. And then you can load the state tab more than once as well for comparison and contrasting. So um, that sums it up for the overview. If you have any questions, again, go to satshot.com under the contacts tab. And uh, please let us know any any questions, any comments that you might have uh, regarding anything of the sort. So other than that, thank you so much and uh, happy farming.